Welcome to week 51 of Reselling Full Time in Australia. My name is Michaela and welcome back to the channel where we talk all about reselling online, saving things from landfill and some eco-friendly tips along the way. If this sounds interesting to you, then hit that like button and subscribe to see more. This morning, it is Monday morning and I've done some background work on Hubby's business firstly because that needed to get done. And then I've sent out offers on my eBay store and tidied up a couple of other little things. But but my stockpile is empty. I don't have any stock to list this week. So it's time to go op shopping. This op shopping trip is going to be on a totally separate video. So I'll link that in the description below. Head on over if you're interested in watching that. Otherwise, here's a little sneak peek of what I found. It was now Monday night, I've gone op shopping and I've found some very good treasures. So now I have to do my postage. I didn't do any postage last night on Sunday night, which is usually when I ship out because we had family over for dinner. And so I have to ship out everything that's sold for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and today, Monday. So let's go through what's sold. First up, we have this vintage paperback book, which is small enough just to go in an envelope for $2.20. That went for $15 free shipping. A Sylvester Stallone DVD bundle, this went for $16 free shipping. A VHS tape, this went for $17 free shipping. Jumping into the clothing, we've got a Poshmark sale, which is this little Kukai black dress. This went for $25 plus shipping. A really cute little wrap skirt. It's vintage from Suzanne and made in Australia. This went for $21 on Depop. Now jumping into our eBay sales for clothing. So I've got this really unique skirt. This went for $25 plus shipping. Just a basic pair of trousers from Mila Purdy. These went really fast for $35 plus shipping. A pair of wide leg Wrangler jeans. These have also been hemmed, so I put that in the title, description and photos. These went for $27.30 plus shipping. A Joseph Ribkoff jumpsuit, so it's an all-in-one. This went for $25 plus shipping. A cute little athletic skirt. This is the brand and the tag. That went for $29 plus shipping. Just a really basic color block dress from Taquito. That went for $10 plus shipping, just on my 30% off sale to get it out the door. A pair of men's Levi's. They are 505s. They went for $35 plus shipping. The pair of black milk tykes that I got pretty recently in one of my last videos, these went for $40 plus shipping. A really interesting stretchy jacket from Taking Shape, that went for $20 plus shipping. A really nice orientic dress, I've had this for quite some time. This went on sale for $20 plus shipping. Basic dress from Kukai and it is 100% silk, this went for $30 plus shipping. And finally, this really nice white with the raw hem jacket from David Lawrence. That went for $30 plus shipping. And tonight is the first night that I am trialing my new shipping setup. So I had all of my shipping supplies scattered throughout my office, my kitchen, my garage, as it just grew with me and I just put stuff where I could fit it. So I rearranged everything on the weekend. Now all of my shipping supplies are in my office in one location and I should be able to ship everything just from my desk. So we've got all of the satchels over here, we've got all of the shipping supplies and cleaning supplies there, all of my fill and newspapers there and this is all extra stuff, just bulk stuff that just needs to be stored somewhere close. And then I have my boxes on this side, so all medium boxes here, all large boxes there and all small boxes there. So this is what it looks like. If I'm over here, I print the label, grab the item, and if I need a box, I just turn around and pick the size, or if I need a satchel, it's right under me. But it should all work just in this singular space. I don't need to leave the office to ship anything now. It is 
Wednesday and I just thought I'd check in with you guys and let you know what's been happening. So today, uh, this morning and yesterday morning, I have been editing YouTube videos and then uploading them in the afternoon. And then today, uh, today's video was quite big. So I'm actually photographing now after five o'clock. It's just raining drizzly here. It's just pretty miserable. So not much more happening. <laughs> just going to be do doing some photographing tonight. And I guess that's one of the best parts about this is the flexibility. So even though I don't necessarily want to be working after five o'clock, some days I do and I can. <laughs> so it just it just works like that. I just go with the flow. There's no super strict, I'm going to do this at this point. It's just going with the flow of what works on that day. So let's photograph some beautiful treasures and get them listed on eBay. Shipping is a bit out of order this week, so I am posting out tonight on a Wednesday and then I'll post again tomorrow. Let's go through what's sold over the last few days. First up, we've got a pair of Frankie Four sandals. These went for a little bit cheaper than probably other solds on eBay because the leather is peeling from the back there. So they went for 75 plus shipping. A Country Road kids size 12 jumper and it is a wool blend that went for $20 plus shipping. A really nice Suzanne blouse that went for $15 plus shipping. Just a basic pair of burnt orange trousers. They went for $17 plus shipping. Just a little corporate dress from Basque that went for $18 plus shipping. The rain is just not stopping it has just rained all day all week and so I have given up on trying to clean the dogs <laughs> I was toweling them down every time they came in but yeah I've given up Bailey's much happier when she's dirty it is Thursday night let's ship out some orders from the last couple of days starting off with this witchery top this went for $20 plus shipping this little bundle of clothes, they're just Big W and Rivers, brand new with tags, linen, all size 18. I got these part of a filler bag for $3, huge op shop clearance months ago, and I just bundled up items, and, and this was one of them. So this all went for $15 plus shipping. Horse head bookends, these went for $28 plus shipping. Sims 2 on Nintendo DS, this went for $26 free shipping. I finally sold this incredible thick knitted blanket. It is larger than a double size, so it could be that sort of in-between double queen size. This has gone for $41 plus shipping. A couple of months ago, I did some online arbitrage on the Baird sale, and I got a bunch of pairs just to try them out, flipping them again on eBay, and this pair has gone for $199 plus shipping. Now, with that, I'm not making as much as if I thrifted these or found these in a bulk buy or something. So I've just done the breakdown and I'm only making about $45 on this pair. But I love that it's something different in my store. I'm just trying it out. This is a really good product. They're eco-friendly. Their brand is fantastic. So it's nice to also have that in my store and support that business. So yeah, if you haven't tried online arbitrage, then maybe give it a go. Good morning, it is Friday morning, the last day of the working week. I've started my to-do list, I've written everything down, I've got a hot strong coffee next to me. This morning I just had to finish up tidying up today's video that's going up on YouTube, so that is currently exporting and then I'll upload that. So right now I need to list. I have plenty of items photographed, but I need to get them on eBay to actually start selling. So let's get into it. Being 
Friday, I've gone through my Facebook Marketplace listings and renewed them. I find that I sell most of my items on a Friday or the weekend when people are actually able to come out and pick up things. So I've done that. The next thing on my list is I've been looking at my inventory sheet and I still have quite a few items that have been listed since last April. And so I want to go through those, auction them off, get rid of them, just to tidy up the store a little bit. Having something for 12 months now is a bit too long for me so I'm gonna go through put them on a seven-day auction if they don't sell then I'll donate them I'm finally done setting up those auctions there was about hundred and thirty of them most of them I've put up for 99 cents plus postage but then some if I could see how much they'd cost me then I'm starting it at the cost price um, but that took me way longer than I thought it would. Bulk editor was glitching throughout the whole process and it just, yeah, it took a lot longer, but I got it done and I feel really good because I'll have all of those listings ending next week and whether I sell them or I donate them then on the weekend, I don't mind. It'll be clearing out a lot of stock, but it's three o'clock in the afternoon now and I haven't eaten lunch. I'm starving. Working for yourself and working from home is just like that sometimes. Today, I've just wanted to keep working, smash it out, and now I'm having a late lunch. And then other days I have an early lunch and have like a two hour lunch break. So <laughs> I just go with the flow of each day. Coffee is empty, that needs to be refilled. Let's go get lunch. Let's break down week 51. The total amount of items that I listed was 38. My total amount of sales across all platforms was 35. And the amount of resources that we diverted away from landfill and back into the circular economy was 30.5 kilograms. 